Earth's Landforms and Bodies of Water by Natalie Hyde. Contents. Land and Water. Rocky Planet. Raised Landforms. Low Landforms. Land near water. Where is water found on Earth? Frozen Solid. Models of Earth. Making Models. Studying Earth. Learning More. Words to Know. And Index. Land and Water. Our planet is home to plants, animals, and humans. They live on land and in the water. Earth's surface is not the same everywhere. It has mountains, hills, valleys, plains, and plateaus. These shapes on Earth's surface are called landforms. Earth also has streams, lakes, ponds, and oceans. These are called bodies of water. Mountains are the highest landforms on Earth's surface. Mapping Earth We can study landforms and bodies of water on a map. A map is a model of Earth. A model is a representation of a real object. Look at the map on this page. The blue areas show where water is found on Earth. What do you think the other colors show? The white areas show land that is frozen for most of the year. Rocky planet. Earth's land is made up of rocks. That's why it is called a rocky planet. The biggest pieces of rock form mountains. Boulders are huge rocks that break off mountains. Sometimes the rock has been crushed into smaller pieces. Gravel is made up of small stones and pebbles. Gravel is used on roads and to make concrete. Tiny pieces of rocks and minerals make sand. Beaches are made of sand. Concrete is strong enough to hold up cars, trains, and buildings. Where things grow. Soil is the loose top layer of Earth's surface. It is made up of rocks, minerals, and bits of dead plants and animals. What do you think? Can a mountain become sand over time? Why or why not? Plants grow in soil. Raised landforms. There are many different kinds of landforms on Earth. Some landforms are raised. This means they are higher than the area of land around them. Mountains are the highest raised landforms on Earth. They have steep, sloping sides. A group of mountains in the same area is called a mountain range. The sides of a mountain meet at a point at the top called the peak. High ground. A hill is smaller than a mountain. Hills have rounded tops. A plateau is also a raised landform. It rises high above the land around it. A plateau has a flat surface on the top. It is surrounded by steep sides called cliffs. Plateaus can be thousands of feet high. What do you think? How is a plateau different from a mountain? How is a plateau different from a hill? Low landforms. Some landforms are lower than the land around them. Valleys are a kind of low landform. They are usually found between raised landforms. Water runs down the sides of mountains and hills. It wears away rock and soil at the bottom. This creates a valley. A canyon is deeper than a valley. It is narrow and has very steep sides. It is cut out by a fast-moving river. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is one of the largest canyons in the world. Flat landforms. Some landforms are neither high nor low. A plain is a large flat area of land. Plains are mostly covered with grass and only a few trees. The ground has rich soil that is good for farming. The area known as the Great Plains produces a lot of the food eaten in North America. Land near water. The place where land meets water is called the coast or shore. A coast can drop down to the water over a cliff. It can also be flat, with, flat and sandy with a beach. Coastlines surround islands. An island is an area of land with water all around it. Sometimes a coastline has a long, narrow strip of land that juts into the water. This is a peninsula. 
A bay is water that has land almost all around it. Where rivers meet the sea. When a river meets a lake or ocean, it can form a delta. A delta is often a triangle-shaped area. It is made of built-up layers of soil. This soil is carried by the river and dropped at the mouth of the river. Some deltas are so big that people can live on them. A delta is a place where a river splits into many channels. Those channels flow into a lake or an ocean. Where is water found on Earth? Water covers three quarters of Earth's surface. Most of the water is in Earth's five oceans. An ocean is a large, deep body of salt water. The rest of the water on Earth is fresh water. Fresh water does not have salt in it. Lakes, streams, rivers, and ponds have fresh water. There is also fresh water underground. People use pumps to bring the water up for drinking. A stream is a small body of moving water. Many streams flow into rivers. A river is, a long and narrow, is long and narrow. It flows into a lake or an ocean. A lake is a large body of fresh water. A lake is surrounded by land on all sides. A pond is a small body of still water. Ponds can form naturally or be made by people. Frozen solid. Not all of Earth's water is liquid. Some of it is in solid form. Much of Earth's fresh water is frozen as ice in glaciers. Glaciers are thick layers of moving ice. Glaciers form when snow and hail begin to pile up in, high in the mountains. The weight causes the snow to change to ice. The ice then starts to slowly slide down the mountain. The Perito Moreno Glacier in Argentina is growing larger every year. There are glaciers on every continent in Earth. Frozen rivers. Glaciers push and drag rocks and soil down the mountain with them. Piles of soil and rock are left along the edges of the glacier. Glaciers carve out valleys as they move. The melted water from the glacier fills these landforms, creating rivers and lakes. Models of Earth. Models are a way for us to study Earth. Maps are models that have landforms and bodies of water drawn on paper. Different colors show land and water. The same landforms are not found everywhere. One map might show an area with mountains and valleys. Another map might show an area with plains or large lakes. Some maps can show a small area, such as a neighborhood, town, or city. Other maps might show a large area, such as a country, or even the whole world. Take a good look. Globes are also models of Earth. However, globes are not flat like maps. They are three-dimensional models. Globes show the whole world. Globes help us see where in the world major landforms are found. What do you think? To find the streams and ponds near your home, would you use a map or a globe? Why? Making models. Earth is made up of many landforms. You can make your own model out of salt dough to see and better understand some of Earth's landforms. Studying Earth. Geologists are scientists who study Earth's features. They look at rocks and soil to learn about Earth's history. They study landforms to see how they are changing Earth's surface. One way geologists do this is by making and studying models. Have a look at the model you made. How is your model the same as the real region? How is it different? Rocks tell us our Earth's history. Learning more. Words to know? Index.